Hello again, hope you're having a good day. So today we are vlogging, we are out. Hopefully, well, hopefully this is not too shaky in the car, but we are out running some errands this morning. We have a busy day, it's Saturday. We have a busy day ahead of us, so I figured it would be a good day to vlog and to bring you guys along with us. We actually have a 4D ultrasound later this afternoon that I'm super excited to vlog the experience of and share with you guys. We have not gotten like a good up close ultrasound yet of this baby and his face. So I, I'm hoping today we'll get some good pictures and video and I'm just super excited to see him. Right now we are starting the day with headed to, heading to Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna see if I can hit up their candle sale. Today's the first day of the candle sale and I have like literally 10 or 15 minutes to run inside and see what I can grab. So we'll see how this goes. I've heard lines can be up to like 40 minutes long some places. And so I feel like I am being a little overly optimistic, but we'll see what all I can accomplish in 10 minutes. Then we're gonna pick up some Starbucks and then Christian has soccer practice this morning. Then we'll do the ultrasound. I have a hair appointment later. It's a busy day, so let's go. Doesn't look too bad. sale wasn't too bad um, our Bath and Body Works like wasn't that crowded I actually got in and out in like 15 minutes so um, but some of the scents were already sold out so I'll probably still end up shopping on the website because I wanted to get a couple gifts for people that I was not able to get today but we did get our Starbucks I have my blueberry oatmeal I have my drink and now we are headed to soccer I feel like people are in a mood driving wise today yeah, I don't know what's going on. we've gotten honked at twice already that wasn't at me Oh, that wasn't a dust. No, somebody else. There's two cars that are trying to merge. No. Still, people seem like they're rushing around for Saturday morning. Um, we are taking our time, although we slept in this morning. We slept until almost 7, which is like unheard of with us. We're usually up at 5.30 every single day. But we slept until almost 7, which is why I have no makeup on, because I did not have time to shower or get ready before soccer today. So I'll be doing that when we get back before our, our appointment later on. But for now, I'm gonna eat breakfast and then we'll do soccer practice. He's like slowly easing into it. I think this was his third or fourth, third class? Third. This was his third class, um, and it was the first day that he actually seemed like pretty comfortable there, which is cool. Um, and he's getting used to a lot of the activities and everything, so that was fun. But we're currently going to the ultrasound place. If you guys are in the Southern California area, the place that we go to is called the Big Reveal Ultrasound. It's in Placentia, which I feel like it's more like Orange Anaheim area. Um, I'll let you know when we get there, but we actually went there when I was pregnant with Christian. When I was 35 weeks, we went because um, since I have a pretty like normal healthy pregnancy or normal healthy pregnancies, they end my ultrasounds at the doctor pretty early and then we don't get to see the babies very often. So when I was pregnant with Christian, my last ultrasound was at 28 weeks. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go to 40 weeks without seeing him like I just wanted to. So we found this place and we got a 4D ultrasound done um, and I loved it and it, I still have the pictures and it's so fun because he still looks so much like those ultrasound photos. Um, obviously because it is him, but like it's cool seeing that connection. 
and so they saw that I included it in a vlog and they actually reached out to me and offered for me to come back in and to get you guys a discount code and all of that this time so I will share that with you after the appointment um, but I'm super excited this is not sponsored by them or anything but um, they did offer to give the code and to like have me in so I'm really grateful for that I cannot wait to see what this little baby looks like in his face we have not gotten any like face pictures of him yet at our doctor's ultrasound so I think today we'll get some good ones um, and I'll get video and all of that too really excited Hey Christian, that's your brother up there on the screen. Let us see the baby. That's how Christian was when we came here the yeah. first time. Was he, it? Yeah, it was like every ultrasound he ever had, his foot and his hand was in front of his face. Good job, Christian. Oh, maybe moving a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Come here. You want to draw, Christian? Oh, that's cute. That is cute. You put a guy, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's so cute, <laughs> How you doing, big guy? Big guy. Yeah, you, you coloring? I do Cooperating. Aww. He's been pretty, pretty good for the most part in our ultrasound so far. So can you guys see like what he's messing with? We don't, just okay. because yeah. we're not diagnostic. Okay. I want your doctor to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Look, see the baby? Do you see your baby brother? See your baby brother up there? Does that make you happy? Oh, yeah. his face. He's all happy. He's It's like, sure, but that looks like a blob on the screen. <laughs> That's not really... This is our like super rainy, which like you can't even see it on camera. But in California, that feels like very rainy to us. Um, but the ultrasound was really fun. That place is so nice. It is just the cutest place. Like I'm so glad I found it and I'm excited to share it with you guys. They have the cutest decor inside. So when you get there, they take you into this like private little ultrasound room that is fully set up, it's so comfortable, it feels like a spa experience, really. It's got plenty of seating too, which is always cool. Plenty of seating for families. They even had a little corner for coloring, so when Christian got antsy, he could go color in the corner, um, and it's just like the nicest place. So we got some really great photos and video. My camera is about to die, so I'll tell you guys more about it in a little bit. We're back on the road, and I'm actually headed to my hair appointment now, because if you can't tell, I am due for a little freshen up. So I will check in after that, but here 
is the before and then we'll see what the after looks like. All right, so it's the next day and we are actually getting ready to head out and take Christian to go see Santa at the mall and get some pictures. Um, we also have to do a Target run, but I wanted to check in and first show you the after of my hair. So it's the next day, like I said, so it actually looked better yesterday after I first got it done. Now I've like slept on it and I started to curl it and then decided not to earlier. <laughs> Um, oh, let me turn this down. I really like it. I just get like a balayage highlight touch up and so I got my color touched up and then I also got a trim. My ends were starting to look really dry and so I got my ends trimmed and now it's like so healthy and it's getting so long. I love it. So um, I also wanted to show you guys the candles I got at Bath and Body Works. And then I wanted to show you the pictures, a couple pictures from the ultrasound place. So I know my camera was about to die yesterday. Christian's downstairs having FOMO right now, so he'll probably come join us in a second. But like I was saying, the big reveal ultrasound in um, Placentia is just such a great place. So, hey baby, you wanna come sit with me? You can't, don't mess with that. But look, you can come sit with me. Look, look, can you smile? All right, now you're happy. I'm also like sitting in chaos right now because I have clothes sitting out and I'm starting to pack for this Texas trip that I leave on tomorrow or I'm leaving for tomorrow and um, Christmas gifts all around me. So I know it is less than aesthetically pleasing around me, so I apologize. But we got so many good pictures while we were there, like so many awesome ones. We got to see him in there moving, we could see him in there yawning. Um, it was really fun, the place is so nice, and the staff there, like everybody, everybody who works there is so accommodating and welcoming. So here's a couple of my favorite pictures, like this one. Then he was even like throwing up a peace sign while we were in there, so that was super cute. It's gonna be really cool to go back in a few weeks too and see how much he develops in that time as well. So they have so graciously given me a link to provide you guys and a discount code as well. So I'll put my code here. The link will be in the description with the code as well. Um, and if you guys go, it will give you 10% off of ultrasounds there as well. Like I said, this is not sponsored by them, but I just love the place so much. Um, and they were very hospitable to welcome me back in and then to offer you guys a discount too. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's like such a just, it feels like a spa experience, honestly. It's like so comforting and homey and welcoming and I truly loved it. So thank you so much to them for having me. I can't wait to come back. Um, and yeah, check them out at the link down below. So then also wanted to show you guys the candles I got from Bath and Body Works. While we were out, I also picked up these like Starbucks reusable cups. This is another gift set. I know I showed something like this in my women's gift guide, um, but this is like the iced coffee version of it. So I actually have the hot coffee version now, and then I have the iced coffee version, and I'll be breaking these up into gifts either for teachers or friends, or I haven't quite decided yet. It depends what else I find, but I've got both just set aside now that I can break up and gift to a bunch of different people. And then from the candle sale, it actually wasn't bad at all when we went. I got four candles in person, but the one candle I really wanted to get as a gift, I they were sold out of or they, did, they only got a few and then they sold out right away. So I ended up placing an order online as well. And I ordered like seven candles online. <laughs> so bad um, but I'm glad I did because they sold out like really quickly so if you were shopping the candle sale you know that they sold out online of all their candles within like a couple within a couple hours it was crazy so in person I got this aromatherapy stress relief this is the eucalyptus and spearmint one this one is so fresh it honestly it smells like I mean, it smells like eucalyptus and spearmint, but it's like so relaxing, like talk about a spa experience. So I grabbed one of those for myself. I also grabbed this Georgia peach one. So they brought out a bunch of their summer candles um, and they had a bunch of new scents too, but I love the packaging of this one. It's like neutral and gold specks and it's very peachy, like very fruity. So I think this will be really nice to bust out for the springtime. Then I also got one of these fresh cut lilacs. This, let me know if you say lilac or lilac. 
because I've always kind of said both, but I love them. Um, and we always had lilac trees in our front yard or backyard when I was growing up. So it's a very like nostalgic scent for me. Smells so good and fresh. And again, this will be another really nice one for spring too. And then the fourth one I found was this one, the Fa La La. This is a winter candy apple, or maybe it just says Fa La La's decor. I don't really know. I do like the gray like plaid print. And it is like an apple-y, like candy apple scent. It smells really good. So I thought that would be a good one to burn as we're headed into the holidays too. And then online, I grabbed one of the aromatherapy sleep ones. I honestly can't remember. I got too many. So I am stocked up on candles, y'all. You will not see me there for quite some time. But like I said, we are getting ready to head to the mall. We're going to take Christian to go see Santa. We also have a Target run to do. So I'll film a little bit of that and then that will probably wrap up today's vlog. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. What's next? Boom, 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 boom. Hello. Yeah, that's us. That's you that's and us. Mama. And Mama. Yeah, Mama's yeah. in there. Yeah. How'd we get in there? Mm, I love you so you much. You sleepy, Bubba? <laughs> All right, we're back home and we are pretty tired, if you can't tell. And I lied when I said I was going to get footage with Santa and doing whatever we were doing because we got to the mall and the line for Santa was outrageous. It was so long and this guy would not have made it. He was feeling like super rambunctious and wild and he would not have made it throughout the whole line. So we paused Santa. We'll be doing that next weekend once I'm back from Texas. We ended up just like kind of browsing the mall a little bit and then we went and had a somewhat chaotic dinner at Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> but it was really nice. We had just like a family date night and we ended up going to Target and then he fell asleep in the car on the way to Target. So I just ran in and grabbed some things while Jordan and Christian waited in the car. So we're going to sign off because now it is time to start winding down. I need to finish packing tonight. And then we will get this guy to bed soon. And in the morning, I am off to Austin. So the next time you guys see a vlog from me or can't remember what I'm planning to have as my next video, but the next vlog you guys see from me will be in Austin as we're prepping for baby's arrival with my sister-in-law. So wish us luck. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in my next video. Say bye, Bubba. Can you say bye? You can give a smile. Can you give a smile even though you're sleepy? Bubby, go bye. Bye. All done. All done, okay.